Good morning, day two on Cape Wrath Trail. I am leaving my wonderful campsite, finally ready to go. It is 8.10, 10 a.m. This morning I moved all my stuff to the picnic table um, to eat breakfast and have coffee there. But then the midges came out. They're so annoying. <laughs> I spray mist midge, but they're still like flying around me. So I moved back in the tent. <laughs> Uh, today, uh, the terrain is going to be tougher than yesterday. We're going to pass a few, several bodies. I wish to stop in the third one. Uh, the first one we're going to pass is the Cory Holly Bothy. And then the second one is Achuil Bothy. And then my goal today is to stop at Sourly's Bothy, either in the Bothy or camp around it. It's about 18 miles. Don't know if I can make it or not, depending on the terrain. But we'll see. 100% uh, chance of rain. But it's, right now it's not raining, thank goodness. I hate backing up in the rain. I slept so good last night. Oh my gosh. I was so tired after walking 23 or 24 miles. <laughs> I lay down at 741 and then I woke up at like um, 1.30, and <laughs> Edit, edited video, and then fell back to sleep an hour later, and then woke up at six, and then started getting ready. <laughs> yeah, slept so well. My air mattress didn't leak, yay! That's true, it was Amazing. nothing much. <laughs> I camped just a mile. Ah, were you in the Yellow's end over there? Yeah. All right. I, I heard you guys, I think, about 8 o'clock or what, 10 o'clock? No, that was some other guys in the morning or the evening? Last night? Last Your night, night here. Day. It was nice. It was quite busy. A whole pile of hikers arrived at like midnight. Oh, I heard them. I thought they're just locals oh, walking. Where were you? Were you sleeping? We're ca uh, I'm, I'm camping um, a mile. Oh, yeah. okay. Wow, there's electricity and stuff. Mm. <laughs> it turns out I'm not the only one on the trail. There were two girls from New Zealand. Uh, today's their third day. And then another couple, but they didn't start from Fort William. They wanted to skip the roadwalk. <laughs> Probably smart. <sighs> okay, no wonder I heard people walking around, I don't know, late. Maybe like around 8 and then some more people around midnight. I saw this wire bridge by the Bothy. I don't need to cross it, but I just want to check it out. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so scary. Wow. <laughs> Oh, you guys. That's the Bothy over there. Wow. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> you definitely cannot run through this bridge. Wow, just being on that bridge for like a minute, less than a minute, makes me dizzy now. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm gonna go in between two mountains, you guys. Right here. <laughs> River crossing first. I put on my wet socks from yesterday, knowing that they'll get wet again. <laughs> I'm bringing three pairs of socks, so I wanna save them. When it's sunny out, I can dry them. All right, no big deal. I hope I'm going the right way. I think so. All right, I think I'm about here. I'm between the two mountains. 
the one on my right it's called Streep which is that one I'm not sure what that one is called <sighs> there's water everywhere in Scotland I don't have to carry much water everywhere yay closer and steeper <sighs> so much water it's amazing but the water just keeps running and running never ends <sighs> closer oh my calves almost to the top look how far I've gone all the way to the valley and then left uh, four miles it's pretty boggy look uh, there's that gate <laughs> I've seen on videos the gate with no fence around it <laughs> people go through it Ah. I almost step on this bog. Look at this. <laughs> okay, I go through the gate. <laughs> oh, it's stuck. Go oh, that way. Yeah. Make sure I close it. <sighs> All right, there's no path right now, so I'm just walking wherever, following the stream. Sometimes you can see a faint path that people have taken. I finished climbing. Yay. Now, I have to follow a stream about three miles to a forest. Oh, that is so daunting. I have to get down the steep hill and then walk all the way following that stream all the way to the forest at the end <gasps> and it's extremely boggy which is okay so you to oh, see <laughs> i just fell down once i was going down so carefully but still it's inevitable i slip over there it's so slippery you guys there's no place to put your foot no stepping stone Everything is just boggy and wet and grassy. And it's really steep, if you can see. I can't wait to get down there. Well, one more time. It was a soft landing though. This is grassy. There's a waterfall next to me. As I'm going down this steep hill, trying to make a decision which path to take. I think I'm gonna go this way. Almost there. So one more time. <laughs> this time I went down five feet from there to here. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I just went down that. Yeah, just fell again. Right there. Slipped. Oh, my butt is wet. <laughs> oh. My shoe almost got stuck. Oh my god. Okay, this is good. No track. I'm just following the stream. Well, somewhat there's a track right there. Mud. I'm gonna go this way. I can't wait to pick up a track of some kind. Oh, there's a track again. Yay. <laughs> I survived that. Oh, that was challenging. Crossing the stream back and forth.
It is now 11.30, I left camp at 8, 10 or so. Uh, the last three and a half miles was the boggiest hike I've ever done. Boggy and muddy and no track. Um, I have reached the end of this. Uh, I see the bridge that I'm supposed to cross right there. So the end is near. <laughs> Oh. And so far I've gone eight and a half miles. Yeah, from mile five to now, which is three and a half miles, I've been bad. Okay, hopefully I can find my way there. There's a this field towards uh, the bridge. Might look like flat and easy. <laughs> it's still muddy, uh, not muddy, but it's a uh, boggy, wet. Watch this. Yeah. <sighs> Challenging, man. There's the bridge. I'm across it. That is deep water, deep, deep, deep water. Oh, be careful. <laughs> Fell in the bog, look at that. Look how far. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna put this away and get out of this. <laughs> oh my God. I was, it's all the way to my thigh. Up here, both, both legs. <sighs> I thought I was going to drown. No. Okay, don't step on that. Go around. Jeez. Wow. That is an experience. Everyone should try it. No. Okay. Shoot, it's so boggy. And it's deceiving. You don't see that it's boggy. I'm supposed to skirt this forest and then there's a forest track on the left. I can't wait to get on it. Uh, okay, I'll figure it out. I fell in the bog again. Uh, the second time was only knee deep, but it took all my strength to take my foot out, my leg out. I'm staying on the right side of the fence for now because the other side of the fence was boggy, deep bogs. I am trapped in bog, in the middle of bog. I don't know where to go. Uh, there's a house there. There should be a bridge I can go around the house and then there's a road. But where do I go? It's bogs everywhere. Look. Everywhere. What the hell? I can't find the forest track on, on the map. Where is it? I'm glad I realized immediately I lost my GoPro camera when I fell in the bog the last time. I went back to get it, fell in again. <laughs> but I kind of have an idea where I am now. I see a bridge and the house. There's the bridge right there. I'm gonna try to get there without falling into bog again. Oh, this is hard. The map says uh, I can take this forest road right here where the arrow or I can go around walk on the road. Hmm. I walk on the road. <laughs> I saw another hiker over here. 
taking pictures. Wow. I can't believe there's a house there. Someone lives there. In the middle of nowhere. Since I am taking the the road right here, the red line instead, instead of this forest track, I guess I'll miss the Achul Bot Bothy right there because I'm up here. Right now I'm still here, but that's okay. I just follow the the red line. Walking through Glen Desserie, there's a farm there, and then that in the field there's like eight deer looking right at me. Do you guys know Bobo? There's so many. Wow. And not one knows Bobo. I can see a choose Bothy from here. Uh, right there somewhere. But I'm taking this higher path. It's so far. I'm just gonna stick to this path. I was looking forward to see it. I can uh, go up there and then skirt around the forest that way or I can go through the forest. But this uh, bridge is uh, kind of uh, sketchy. Ooh. Look at it. I don't know. I don't know what, what to do. It's so confusing. I'm just guessing at this point. Nice forest track. Getting super steep right now. I'm tired. This tree is the trail, you guys. <laughs> Oh, it's crazy. I hope we're going the right way. Get to a lake. I don't know what it's called. I'm sure it's on the map. I have never seen a trail so muddy, so wet, so much water. Water everywhere. Waterfall. 
everywhere, hundreds of them, all over. Wow. I hope we're not far. <laughs> This lake is called Lock of the Main. Look at this, I'm walking in water. Oh, it's so far away. Water everywhere. The last one mile was tough, you guys. It was very technical, a lot of rocks, a lot of water, a lot of mud. Very slippy. I'm cold. Oh, you have to cross a river. And it's very strong. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Does the Bobby really exist? Oh my gosh, that's the river that we cross. There's another person there. And then we come up here. Ooh, it's treacherous. I see another guy over there. Yeah. They're crossing without shoes on. Wow. You can see the Bothy from here, so far away over there. Oh, man, my watch says I've been walking 21 and a half miles. Oh, and I fell again. I fell 10 times total today. There's a ruin over there. Oh my God, there's two sheep. I have not seen one sheep since I got on this trail. Interesting. Just two. There's the Bathi. I see um, there are two tents set up. Well, that's good. I was gonna tent. I was worried if I can tent in this boggy, boggy um, soil, <clears throat> boggy ground. But I guess you can over there. That's good. I don't wanna sleep in the Bathi with five other people. Or maybe more. Oh, tired, hungry. That was a tough day. Today is a very tough day. It is about six o'clock right now. Oh, 
finally here. The body is packed. There's probably 10 people in there and it's really tiny. So I'm gonna pitch right here. It's perfect. Yeah! <laughs> it's worth it. The sun is out. It is six minutes past six. I guess I got here earlier than I thought. There's two tents over there and then these two guys about to set up their tent, I think. And here's my setup. Not too bad. Okay, so... <clears throat> this is where I camped last night. A mile... Not even a mile from Gori Hali Bothy. I stopped there in the morning. There were four people. Um, one, two of them is a couple from Germany that I ended up ha hiking with or following <laughs> the last few miles. Uh, this this was fine. It's just a four by four track. Um, go going between the street and this and other mountain. Um, it's a single track and it's fine. Now we will continue over here. That's where the gate was. And then um, coming down it, it was really, really slippery. And um, I fell, I think like two, three times, four times, I don't know. So I, I went here and it was fine. I wasn't struggling. It was boggy, my feet were wet. Not uh, not too boggy yet. I didn't know what's co what was coming. <laughs> And I got to the bridge here. I crossed it and I'll try to look for the forest track. This one here is really nice, but I couldn't find it. So I kept going outside of the forest or maybe here. I don't know, maybe here. It was really, really boggy, the boggiest. I think you saw in the video, I fell into the bog, deep bog like four times and then I left, I dropped my um, GoPro in the, in the bog, I didn't even know. Uh, and I got out of the bog, started walking and then looked for my camera and it's not there. So I went back and get it and I fell the fifth time getting my GoPro from the bog. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm glad I realized that I didn't have my GoPro. Oh, I would have been devastated. Anyway, I follow this track around this house. There's a house there. I go around it and then there was a 4x4 track. It's just really nice. <laughs> Through Glen Desiree. This is where I saw um, a lot of deer. Like Maybe there's 50 deer. Maybe even 100. I don't know. But they keep coming out. <laughs> uh, and there's a house there. Yeah. I talked to the guy. They're renovating that house. And then I tried to go here, but I couldn't, I lost the track and I ended up going through the bog again here. It's not even um, shown anywhere here. It's close to Achu Bothy. I went down here, trackless. I, I fell into the bog again once, but not too deep. <laughs> and then I found the forest track, thank goodness. And then that's where I'm, where, where I'm at the German couple and then I started following them they seem to know where they're going um, and then we went this way which is not bad there's a steep incline here and then here is very 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 muddy I have never seen a place so muddy and it's treacherous it was slow going and then we cross a river here by this time I was already so tired, like um, where's this Bothy, you know? And it's we're still far away, Bothy's still here. Cross the river and stick to the right. And then you have to go up, climb up high because there's no no path in the bottom. It's close to a very flowy, very um, strong um, river. So we go up and down. And then there's a bridge here and there's a ruin. We cross the bridge and then walk boggy here too. Oh my god, muddy and boggy until we get here. Sour leaf bottom. 
that's where I am. It was such a long day. Um, the book says it's 18 miles to this Bathi from Cory Holly, but it's not. I, my 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 watch read um, 23 point something miles, so I don't know. It felt like 23. I'm gonna clean up. I am so dirty. I've never been so dirty in my entire life. And um, make some food and drink some water because I haven't stopped since 8 a.m. Good night, guys.